ladies and gentlemen, Governor Mike Huckabee. President Obama called my next guest one of the best practitioners of prevention and wellness programs in the private sector. The health care plan that Steve Byrd implemented for his employees is simple, makes a lot of sense, saves billions of dollars each year, not to mention people's lives. And I agree with President Obama that this is a plan that works. The man with that plan is the CEO of Safeway Food Stores, Steve Byrd. Steve, welcome. It's great to have you here. Thank you very much. You and I both testified at a Senate uh, conference committee a few weeks ago. It's where we first had a chance to meet. I was completely thrilled when I listened to what you are doing as a CEO. First of all, what led you to say, I got to do something about the health care cost of my employees at Safeway? Sure. Uh, w what led us to it is we're in a very low margin business, the grocery business. We had a billion dollar health care bill, which was larger than our net income. It was rising at the rate of $100 million a year. And so we decided that we had to treat that like any other cost. We think we're an innovative company. And to see whether or not we could either cause those costs to stop going up or possibly even decline. What did you find really started working? Well, I think we gained an insight, two insights really, in uh, 2005. Uh, the first was that 70% of all health care costs are driven by behaviors. So for, as a business guy, that was remarkably good news because it said if we could influence the behaviors of our 200,000 employees, we could affect their health and therefore health care costs. What kind of behaviors are we talking about? That in we're talking about behaviors that most people would regard as, as unhealthy. Uh, we're talking about uh, smoking. We're talking about uh, uh, conditions of overweight or obesity, uh, hypertension, uh, high blood pressure, all of which can be managed and controlled. And you actually were able to quantify the cost to Safeway stores that these issues were costing, weren't you? Exactly. Uh, we, we have flatlined our cost now for four years, and, and that's the per capita cost. So we didn't flatline it by terminating 15,000 people. Uh, and that's the all-in cost. That's the uh, company cost and the employee cost. And if you compare that to the rest of the nation, the rest of the nation is up 38%. So I told the, the Senate uh, on Thursday that if the nation had adopted Safeway's health care plan design in 2005, the nation's health care bill would be $550 billion lower than it is today. Steve, it's interesting. You have found uh, friends and, and admirers all the way from Rush Limbaugh to Barbara Boxer, both of whom have praised what you're doing as a solution. So is the Obama administration and do members of Congress really pay attention to what you're getting done? You know, I, uh, the conversations that I've focused on are, are in the Senate, and then I have had a number of conversations uh, with uh, White House staff. And clearly on the issue of prevention and wellness, which I, I think that's talking at too high a level. I said, let's get down to behavior, uh, because that's the level at which you can uh, contemplate action. And I think I've had a very good reception at both the White House and in the Senate. Now, some people say, well, what we need to do is, is tax people's behavior, make it very uh, costly for them if they engage in the behavior. You have a little different approach. Well, what we've done is we have um, designed it as a positive incentive uh, so that uh, there's a difference in premium in our company that employees pay uh, based on their behavior. So we give discounts for not smoking discounts for having a body mass index uh, south of 30, which is the dividing line for obesity, mm -hmm. discounts for having hypertension under control, and uh, cholesterol under control. So it's okay to have those conditions, but they need to be controlled. And I think the thing that's uh, unique about our plan is that if you have a body mass index of 40, and you make uh, a 10% reduction in the next 12 months, we will write you a refund check even though you didn't get it below 30. We'll do the same thing for smoking, and we'll pay 100% for the smoking cessation products. How many people in your uh, Safeway company now are participating in this and getting their health habits under control? Sure. We have, um, we have 200,000 employees in the company. That's a lot of people. 200,000 people. Uh, 28,000. Uh, we have incentives on both the union and non-union workforce. The union workforce is about 170. Uh, 28,000 people in the non-union side of our business are in this plan. Uh, that's 74% of those that are eligible, uh, and uh, the reviews are great. 78% uh, of them uh, regard the plan as good, very good, or excellent, which uh, I might regard that as an approval rating. 
If a politician got that approval rating, uh, you know, I can assure you there would be uh, handstands and dancing in the street. Well, they do handstands at 51, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. Right. Yeah. <laughs> at 51. That's a and, landslide. And I think the proof is in our numbers. Our obesity rate is 70% of the nation. We're at 28%. I promised someone the other day with some new things that we put in place that I could reduce that in 120 days. And I just looked this week and we have reduced that obesity rate further. Uh, we have a smoking rate that's 70 percent of the nation's as well. So you're actually spending some money, but you're saving a whole lot more by putting people on smoking cessation programs, giving them access to uh, fitness centers there on campus of, of your facilities, et cetera. Correct. We've also done something you might expect. We're in the food business. So we have calories on our menu in the cafeteria, uh, and we used to subsidize all meals. Now we subsidize only healthy meals. You can still get a cheeseburger and fries, and I think we would all agree that's a good thing, mm. as long as you have some exercise to balance that off. Uh, but we don't subsidize that. I believe in free choice. Uh, I just believe that there, there should be some personal responsibility for the choices that you make. Real quickly, because we're running out of time, which is killing me, because this is such an yeah. incredible subject that I find fascinating. Coverage. The big discussion is always about we got to get everybody covered. Mm -hmm. Coverage is important, but what you're discovering is that coverage doesn't help if you're not also changing those behaviors. Uh, that's absolutely correct. If, if you cover everybody and you don't bend the cost curve south, uh, we have created a much larger problem for ourselves. And I think there's a, I think there's a good understanding of that principle uh, in Washington. And I think they're really struggling with how to do that. And that's why I've spent so much time in, in Washington talking to policymakers. And I think they're listening to the experience that we have at Safeway. Steve, you may single-handedly be doing more to reform health care in America than any other person. And I want to say thank you right. for the innovations. And thank I you. hope that your message gets to a lot of other CEOs and, most importantly, to a lot of members of Congress. We need you, Steve. Right, thank you very, very All much. Right, thank you. Well, you're going to love what we've got next.